Hey guys, so before I get into the title of this video, we're going to open this parcel. I'm not too sure what's in it, but all I know is it's going to bring joy to a few and grief to many. Let's do this. When I say it, I don't know what it is, it's because I've ordered quite a few things, so it's one of those things. They haven't really passed it, boxed it very well. I haven't really, like, yeah. Doing this such a stupid thing. It's what I thought it was. Now if you don't do this, when you get a parcel with this in, there's something seriously wrong with you. Right, so I think... There should be three things in here. If there's only two, then I need to email the seller because... So we have the new, I say new, it's not new, a new k &N oil filter for the hypermotard. And then, it is just two things. Can you guess? Am I going to need my knife? What did I do with the knife? Found it. For the price I paid, I kind of thought it would be two things anyway, so not too worried. Because I got a fucking deal. Like, the amount I paid is normally, if I walk into Halfords, I'd pay that amount for just this amount of oil. So we got the Castrol Power One, yeah, which is, I've used this oil on all my bikes, Grom, KTM, R3, and other hyper motor, because it's fucking good stuff. But why is this going to bring grief to many and joy to a few? That's where we get into the title of this video. I am leaving. I'm off. Bullshit. I'm leaving on a massive trip. Now people have been asking me, oh come to this place, come to that place. And this year has been the year that I've wanted to travel a lot. So I set up a plan. At the start of this year I planned I wanted to ride to a different country. I thought, do you know what, we'll make it easy, we'll go to France. Simple, get the Euro Tunnel, straight over, ride around some French roads and have a bit of fun. And then I saw Royal Jordanian's video from way back in 2014, I might be wrong there, where he did a Europe trip and he travelled nine different countries. And I thought, that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. So, I'm following very similar routes to him. Same kind of roads, Stelvio Pass and uh, things like that. We're changing it up a little bit. Um, I wanted to get a few friends into this, but because of money, time, motorcycle related issues, it's me and one other person. Um, now he's not 100% sure on what bike he's taking, but at the most, it's most likely going to be his DRZ 400 at the moment. So it'll be my Hopa Motard and his DRZ. Um, we're going to nine different countries in nine days. We're going to stop off, stop off at some World War II places. We're going to go to the Nürburgring. A um, bunch of places we, we plan on going. So, that brings us back to this. Why is this going to bring grief? Uh, joy to few and grief to many. Joy to me, because this means we can go on our trip, because oil changes. Um, and grief to many, because they're going to have to put up with me in nine different countries now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the sh fucking shut me up.
You were balancing so well, Helmer. You were doing so well. Let's just put you there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going on this trip. Um, but I wanted to make this video before any of you leave. I wanted to make this video because today that I'm recording this, which is the 1st of May, we've been planning on this for ages, planning on the hotels and everything. We just haven't booked the hotels yet, which is kind of going a bit late. Like, but we're, we're, we're sorting it, okay? Um, today I plan. I thought, I've been thinking of it over and over my head, and I, I don't know if I was going to do it, and I thought, well, why not? Why not turn this journey into something that can help more people? Because you know what I'm like. I, I, I want to have an impact in this world where I can, I, know, I, I can be remembered for something. So, what we're doing is we're going to raise as much money as we possibly can through uh, sponsorships from you guys um, and family and friends and whatnot uh, to raise money for the uh, Blood Bikers, um, the nationwide association of blood bikes. Um, so, I've set up a GoFundMe. Links, first link down in the description. This is not me telling you to give your money away. Don't, okay? Only do it if you want to support uh, and donate. Um, don't feel like you have to. You never ever have to. Um, it's, it's just there because it was just, I thought, it's such a big thing, like, riding, it's over 3,000 miles that we're doing it. It's a huge task. And I thought, why not see if we can help people by doing it as well. So that's why I set it up. Um, I want to try and raise 100 quid. Nothing major. 100 quid. Um, and every single penny is going straight to the blood bike. There's nothing is going to me. It's not paying for my fuel there. It's not paying for any of the parts I buy. It's not paying for brake, brake pads. Anything. Nothing. It's not paying for one dime. I am self-sufficient. I, I, my job pays for what I'm doing. Like uh, I weighed up how much money I need to do this trip, and I made it happen. Like no issues. I don't need you to fund it. So no money is going to me. No money is going to the DRZ rider. It's literally to support the blood bikes. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. So. If you do want to support the Blood Bikes, um, because they do amazing work, if you don't know what they are, then the second link in the description will be their page you can click on. Um, it's basically, you, if you ever lived in the UK or uh, I don't know where they are, but they might have it in other places. Um, motorcycles can get places a lot quicker than cars and ambulances and things like that. So uh, these Blood Bikes transport blood. Uh, around the UK as quickly as possible to get it to people who, who are really in need. Um, so they do amazing work and they, they, they do have a charity and that's where all this money is going to go to. So I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart to anyone that does support this, uh, this journey by donating. So yeah. That, that's pretty much everything. I'm not leaving YouTube. That's just clickbait, you know, because YouTube's broken and I have to trick you. To, I'm not really tricking you, but I had to come up with something, you know, a little bit enticing to make you click on this video so you knew what was going on. There'll be lots of posts on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. I will be filming every single second, if possible, uh, of the trip. And that will come out in the series, but don't expect it anytime soon because we're not leaving till August 22nd. Um, and then it's recording nine days continuously. It's a lot, and then I've got to edit all that, so it won't be out for quite a long time. But it's going to be fucking worth it. So anyway, I've blabbered on for too long. We got my oil, we got thing. I'll have to buy an air filter. I thought I'd come with an air filter. I showed a picture that it did, I'm pretty sure, but... I guess I was wrong. Um, I'll contact them in a bit. But yeah, I thank you guys for watching. It's probably been longer than it should have been. But oh well. Um, yeah, I'll see you. Maybe I'll get to see you in some countries. Uh, a list of what countries I'll go into down in the description and stuff. Any info you ever need is always down in the fucking description or you can comment it and I'll reply because I reply to everything. Uh, on the most recent videos. It may take me a day or two, but I will reply. 
Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. I poke myself in the head. Peace. I'm going to go back and have a nap. Now. We can use that box. Uh, Do the uh, Modern Warfare 2. Straight in the eyeball. So, I used my GoPro to record this audio from here. Um, so it's supposed to be a really nice audio for you. It didn't record. Sorry. I'm not recording that video again. Okay. <laughs> Fuck's sake, GoPro.